Hello, my dear Global Family. So, welcome everyone for this uh, Global Peace Forum, Ultima Global Peace by 2027. This is uh, part of Global Prey Chain where all Edino Plus people are welcome to join uh, hand by hand uh, build substantial peace by 2027, every corner of the world. Happy welcome. Everyone is welcome from simple people to presidents to join this uh, greatest uh, meeting and uh, You'll receive a lot of blessings and miracles, and uh, today's topic is to attract happiness in your life, in your family, community, country, and the world. So stay till the end, you'll receive four presents. Um, subscribe the channel, share this message to billions. More about us is below the video. Uh, let's go the powerful music, then powerful quotes, uh, words of God, and the actual forum. Enjoy! <laughs> Okay, okay, this was powerful song for today. Uh, let's go with the quotes. Uh, words of God from Messiah and coming. Uh, this uh, from the book Philosophy of Peace. So let's uh, read what God think about peace and happiness. What is our ideology? It is not a global doctrine that puts human beings first. It is um, modeled after a single doctrine and world that put God first. But uh, it does... Uh, is got beyond the scope of religion. Any good world uh, that uh, people design need to fit perfectly without contradictions with this model uh, realm of a single doctrine uh, and world. That is the uh, only way for heaven and earth to become one. Heavens like the mind and human beings are like body. In that light, even if this world, which is like the body, settles into onerous and became a good world, but still places people at the center, it will not be enough. An inner world need to appear that the God-centered good subject partner in the position of the mind can validate as a world of goodness. When that is accomplished as a single doctrine without any contradictions, or conflict, it will be the first time that heaven and earth set forth toward a world peace. We can call the time in which we are living the last days. Oh my God. We have arrived at a time in which it is, uh, will be difficult for any global religious body doctrine or thought to sort things out. If we use inherited doctrine and claims we have neither comprehended the world of our mind nor find the rest for the world of our heart, at this point, philosophy, religions, and science have to surrender. We have to face the questions, what should this world embrace? 
we have to embrace something infinite uh, greater than the world of the mind greater than the cosmos to embrace something greater than this world's uh, ideals and to sing its uh, praises is uh, nobler than uh, anything this uh, earth can offer doing so it uh, is the only way to lead and manage the world this is an international age two camps having divided the world uh having a showdown we cannot allow this to end as a battle we have to find a way to settle it we can do so by setting up a clear symbolic standard for the mind and body Without this conclusion, uh, will arise and this world will destroy itself. In the world, uh, people say, we struggle for freedom. We give our life for freedom, liberty or death. I would rather die than lose my freedom. However, they miss the point. Even if they start a revolution to win freedom and pull together some organization or nation, they will just see another struggle develop. Uh, the concept of freedom does not include an eternal subject partner. They use force to win freedom, applying the straight okay. of weapons. Those weapons represent the entirety of their uh, actual power. Communism is such an entity. So as uh, individualism, feminism, ethnocentrism or nationalism, to this day, no one has gone beyond his or her own nation. No one lives for ideal of the world level ideology. <laughs> Ultimately, we need to a type of patriotism organized around the family with God's love at its center. But it cannot stop within a nation. It has to be international. That is why we call the people of the world to become members of a single family to become brothers and sisters. What characterized a world of peaceful nation united as one? It is marked by a family ideology that they promote a brother-sister relationship. That is the ideal world, but a family-centric world will not stop at just the brother-sister relationship. There will be incessant fighting between siblings. At this time, the more than 100 nations in the United Nations, all related to America one on one. Although America is so large, this means they belong to a realm of sister nations. Uh, that being the case, it is time for the parents to appear. The battle between siblings persists, so the parents need to be to come and separate right from wrong. We are arriving at such a time and those parents will come. They will bring the doctrine for world unification, the world of a left uh, as a parents embrace. However, when this world uh, rediscover its parents embrace and uh, rests uh, deeply within the realm of uh, God's love, welcome in the spring, it will finally become a unified world. Okay, this was the quotes for today. So powerful quotes. Um, please study them and um, practice in your life. This help uh, thousands and millions of uh, people globally to go, to go beyond their personal borders uh, and national borders and go to the cosmos to God as Messiah inspire us. So um, happy welcome to this global prayer chain where uh, all 8 billion plus people are invited at 7 p.m. their local time to join hands together and uh, say a powerful prayer for peace one minute plus all all from simple people to presidents so um please uh, join my prayer um i promise you uh, four presents so two of them are right now one of my bestseller book uh, you'll get it contact is below and um, a free ticket to a webinar uh, register below. Please join my prayer. Dear Heavenly Parent, we are so happy to meet you alive here. We meet substantial God here, concretely. At the, the Messiah's coming time, uh, you send only because only because and daughter, and they as true parents, um, only because and son, only because and daughter, uh, father and mother, 
two parents, they uh, built Hamlet Kingdom already 11th year. This uh, world that uh, all the history was uh, mm, hoping is just right now. And we feel it, we can touch it. And uh, uh, we pray, dear Heavenly Parent, let the uh, wall of uh, 8 billion plus people on the earth, uh, our brothers and sisters, inherit this in their life and their family, community, country, and the world, the cosmos, and even with uh, God as Messiah inspire us. We want to be together with our Heavenly Parent forever. So please lead us, dear Heavenly Parent, to be like this, to unite together and um, save the planet with this uh, global ideology of brotherhood uh, with the parents in the center. We know that for the 5% of uh, human potential that uh, humanity was impossible to uh, break through during the history. You add 1995 and this is 100% of our potential for each individual on the planet. And this is the greatest happiness that uh, could come when we could realize everything, all our ideas, all of our bright ideas, everything what you've done, and uh, get rid of all of these um, difficulties and um, all of these uh, um, borders that was uh, stopping us till now. Dear Heavenly Parent, lead us. And uh, as we joined here together, I pray for representatives who, he to, who joined uh, Julian and Jan and me and Europe and uh, more brown sisters on all continents. Please help them, bless them, and let's unite together, join together. Uh, please protect them as we pray for the world, um, for the salvation of the world. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, may all our brothers and sisters be happy from today. Eternal happiness inherited from God and never go astray as uh, our ancestors was doing. Uh, Adam and Eve, dear Heavenly Parent, we don't want to repeat that mistake. And we pray, dear Heavenly Parent, lead us to, to meet uh, concrete prepared people. As the John the Baptist uh, prepared all of them from uh, elites, um, um, as uh, many of them was in our meetings, uh, priests, uh, bishops, archbishops, and even the Pope and uh, all the businessmen with the billions, billionaires and the politicians with the great powers and uh, all of them from the media power. Let them unite together with the Messiah and God and Holy Son and Holy Father and finish ultimate global peace by 2027. And even by 2025 is possible by all of this technology and development that humankind can now. Please receive this short report. I pray, dear Heavenly Parent, lead us to attain substantial results every second, every hour, and really break through all of these uh, um, barriers that world have now and uh, bring substantial fruits uh, uh, to your table, dear Heavenly Parent. I really came to uh, bring uh, everything uh, to your altar right now and uh, pray in my name as Nikolai Kerpala, and the blessed family. Adieu, amen, amen, amen. Yeah, so good to meet everyone, dear uh, parent, uh, bless all of you who are here, who watch this video, who share this video, uh, who join this global prayer chain for Ultima Global Peace by 27. Two more presents, uh, two presents I give uh, you find in the middle of the video. And uh, another two is um, um, VIP membership in, in the global VIP uh, club and as a peace ambassador award and uh, another one is a free powerful prayer specific for you for your family or your country any you need just contact me the contact is below pray for you stay happy healthy yours prophet nikolai karpala <laughs>